Hello and welcome everyone to another video. Do you know that even your click can be hacked? You must be wondering how can someone hack your click? Well then click checking is the answer to your question. In click checking, it may seem that you are clicking a button and doing something, but in reality, something else will be happening. In this video, we will see what is click checking and how attackers can trick you into clicking a button with this attack and how you can protect yourself from click checking. There are a lot of things which are very interesting and are part of this video. So I request you to watch this video completely till the end without skipping any part in between. If you are ready to learn something new, then let's get started. As the name suggests, click checking is made up of two terms, click plus high checking. So basically, when your click gets hijacked, you're made to do something which you're not aware of and you're made to believe you're doing something but actually something else is happening, then it is known as click checking. Confused? Let me simplify it for you. I'm sure all of you must have downloaded something ever in life. And when you visited a download site, then you must have observed that there are several download buttons. When you click on one button, something else happens, you click on the other button, you are redirected to some other website, you click on the third one and then some song starts playing and so on. This is a classic example of click checking. Often such sites are used to spread malware, key loggers, viruses and whatnot. So click checking is just one of the type of attack that can happen with you. I will show you how to detect if an application is vulnerable to click checking and how to carry out an attack. For this, let's move to my laptop screen. Here I have created a simple HTML file. I have HTML tag, the head tag, the body tag and within the body tag I have this text and then this iframe. Here you have to provide the URL of the website that you want to test if it is vulnerable to click checking or not. I have these websites that I will be testing if they are vulnerable to click checking or not. So we will be starting with Amazon.in. Uh, we will do what we will do is we will create a local server. So just go to this directory where you have all the files, this detect.html file, and just type cmd. So this is a shortcut for opening a command prompt in the desired directory. I mean, just go to a desired directory and type cmd in the address bar, and your Working directory will be this current directory and now what you need to have is python installed into your system. The version of python that I am using is 3.7.7 and the command that is needed for running your local server is python hyphen m http dot server 1337. This 1337 is the port number. Make sure you can use any port number, but make sure that uh, no other application is running on this port number. Just hit enter. And our server has successfully started. Let's just open a browser. Localhost 1337. And here you can see all the HTML files and all the other things that I have in this directory. This uh, detect.html file is the one which we will be using for testing if an application is vulnerable to click checking or not. So as you can see Amazon.in refused to connect which means Amazon.in is not vulnerable to click checking. Now let's try for flipkart.com. Let's save it. Let's refresh it. Flipkart.com refused to connect, which means Flipkart is also not vulnerable to click checking. Now, let's try for Club Factory. Let's save it. Let's refresh it and club factory open within this iframe which means 
particular factory is vulnerable to clickjacking. Now let's see how clickjacking attack is carried out. Uh, whatever I'm going to show you is just for the purpose of sharing knowledge and making you aware about the possible attacks. Please don't use this information for any illegal activity. Here I as an attacker have hosted a website and I'm targeting the users of TVWA. I want to trick them into clicking a button so that I can make them reset the database of DVWA. This is just a scenario for showcasing how attackers can make you do a task and you won't even be aware of it till you see the consequences. Let's go to this elements and here you can see this slightly visible page and then on top of it I have this text congratulations you have won a holiday package and there's this claim price button and if you will notice this claim price button is strategically placed over this create reset database button what this create reset database button will do let me show you over here if I will click over here then it will reset my DBWA database and all the data that I have like these testimonials will be gone you can see this this is a different path and this is a different path so this is just to show you that this particular website is hosted somewhere else and this is the attacker site and they have opened this DBWA in an iframe. Now suppose the DBWA user was tricked and that person clicked on this claim price button. And you can see this, the text over here. You can see these messages over here which simply means the database has been reset. Let me go to DBWA. Okay, let me just go to home and come back to this access is stored and no more testimonials are visible. This is because the database just got reset. This page is slightly visible over here because for the purpose of demo, I have not set the opacity to be completely uh, zero. Let me show you the HTML code of this page and you can see the opacity is 0 0.2 let's set it to 0 let's just refresh it and over here you can see this I just have this congratulations you have won a holiday package text and this claim price button. Let me quickly enter some value here. Let me go to home page. I'll again go over here. Let me just refresh it. I'll just click over this claim price button. And my testimonials are gone. You just saw how a user can be tricked into clicking a link or a button and then an attacker can make them perform the desired action. You can be tricked into liking a post or liking a page or subscribing to something uh, and what not. My advice to you would be to be very cautious while surfing the internet and while clicking on any link or a button. Even if uh, it's not a clickjacking attack, then you can invite viruses, malware, key loggers. So just be safe while surfing the internet and avoid shady websites. Uh, with this piece of advice, I would again like to request you 
to like, share and comment and also subscribe to this channel. I will be back with another video. Till then, stay safe and goodbye.